hey guys welcome back to my channel um this video is obviously being done when i just have gotten off of work and as you can tell you can see like some buildings behind me and the parking lot and some cars yep it's like the only time that i can really just like record a video i don't understand why but it is well no i know why because when i get home i get off work late so when i get home all i want to do is go to bed and watch other people's youtube videos because i love watching youtube vloggers they are awesome and i don't know that's just my thing but anyway this video i am going to be talking about navy boot camp again and i will be talking about pds um and i'm talking about it because you know i do kind of take what you guys say in my comments and it kind of gives me ideas and one comment was left when um a woman um she said that her husband is um actually in boot camp right now and she watches my videos to kind of get a general idea of what he's going through and things like that so um yeah so this one is i'm just going to talk about p days because um for people who are about to ship out and for people who have someone in a uh, boot camp right now you can kind of get a general consensus of what they're doing or what's going to happen to you when you become a p day recruit right all right, so let's just get right into the video. All right, so when you're a P-Day recruit, um, you are literally the bottom of the barrel. Matter of fact, you're not even in the barrel yet. Like, you, you are just some random person, and you are just here. Like, that's literally how it feels at first. You just, you feel like you're just existing on a Navy base. Like, you don't even really feel feel like you are in the navy yet right because it's processing days they're not doing anything but processing you into the navy so um pretty much your days are long and boring you're not doing anything special and if you are doing something special it's literally just medical or dental um p-day lectures if you want to classify that as something special and what else do you do during p days oh nope that's it <laughs> and learning about what you're going to do um through and so at some point in boot camp like it's really nothing in uh p days it's nothing besides just like you're not you're uh lord i can't i can never speak y'all i'm working on it you're not doing anything in p days besides stamping all of your stuff like you wake up in the morning and you are forcing yourself to just make it to chow breakfast and then you get to breakfast and you're just like all right we here and then after breakfast is over you go back to your compartment and then you start stenciling everything and stenciling takes the most time i think it took us like two or three days to stencil every single thing that we had because you have to stencil it a certain way you can't just oh stamp it that's my name boom here i go you have to stencil it a certain way and everybody has to be the same way and then you're gonna have your smart asses who will stencil something the wrong way like the um the rdc will say hey stencil the bottom left corner and somebody will stencil the top right corner and you're just like how like how do you even how what the what are what are you doing and i know when i did it like this it may be different on your screen or you it may be different but on my side it this is my bottom left and this is my top right however comma that's besides the point so yeah you're gonna have your slow idiots there who can't seem to stencil anything right and they're gonna have a bunch of one lines going through everything um yeah so you take about two or three days to stencil every single thing that you have the only thing that you don't touch is your navy ball cap and that's because um in the event that you get separated or yeah you get sent to seps um they're gonna just take that hat back from you and give it to another recruit and that's it you don't stencil your your navy ball cap or your what is it your dress shoes and you don't get your dress shoes until like a little bit like in week two or three maybe like week three or four actually that's when you get your dress uniforms but you don't stencil your navy ball cap you're in your dress shoes and there's something else that you don't stencil until like I think the day before battle stations the day of battle stations or somewhere close around 
close to battle station time that's when you stencil stuff um we'll stencil that stuff but everything else will be stenciled before you even go to your um to your uh barracks um but yeah so you're stenciling everything and then after you're done stenciling it then you will learn how to properly fold it and stow it in like the proper compartment in your rack um and yes you it is wise to take notes As a matter of fact they're kind of going to tell you to take notes on it because um i keep saying i'm gonna do a pi dmi video to pretty much talk about what inspections are like so i'm gonna do that um i'm gonna do that in the next video but yeah so you use those notes for your pi and dmi inspections and yeah that's pretty much that my division however and my brother did we did not use our notes like we probably did it when we was just running drills on inspections but when it came down to actual inspections i've i haven't seen one person i'm sorry i did not see one person pull out that notebook and actually like okay da -da 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 -da, because you're timed and everybody's just trying to get it done in the time that they gave us so nobody's really trying to pull out their books but yeah so that's pretty much what p days is you're literally not doing anything but stenciling everything um you're gonna learn about what's gonna happen throughout the next couple of weeks of boot camp um and uh, yeah that's pretty much it you're just gonna be waking up every day like jesus let me make it to breakfast and then you go to breakfast you're gonna come back and be like god please let me make it to lunch then you get to lunch and you're just like jesus dinner let me have some dinner and you have dinner and you're just like okay we tapping soon that's cool and you're fine unless you're in a division that goes to chow early then you you're gonna be still waiting but it's it's literally like a minute game you're just waiting and you're just passing time not doing much of anything and you really don't get that much respect as a p-day recruit because you're a p-day recruit so a lot of rdc's a lot of other recruits maybe maybe just maybe will not treat you as if you're an actual recruit and being a recruit ain't that fun either like you get treated like shit and sorry to be cursing but you don't get treated like you know anything special you get treated like nothing until you become a sailor and when you become a sailor that's when you get a little bit more respect and that's when you actually fall into the ranks of e1 e2 e3 petty officer and so and so and so and so but until then you're just seaman recruit and you don't mean nothing also if you are going into boot camp as an e2 or e3 you are still considered a seaman recruit regardless if you're a seaman apprentice or a seaman. You are still seaman recruit, whatever your name is. You do not get called a seaman apprentice or a seaman, uh, or a seaman until A school. And even still then, I've, or even when you get out to the fleet, but even I've noticed so far since I've been in, I'm a E2, but people keep calling me seaman. So I just go with that. Hey, I mean, nobody, and I also learned that too, like they don't really try to stress oh this is seaman recruit so-and-so or this is seaman apprentice so-and-so they're just like hey this is seaman johnny okay this is seaman johnny seaman johnny may be an e1 but everybody's gonna call him seaman johnny and seaman johnny's gonna know who he is so that's that but i'm gonna end this video because that's all i can pretty much think about about p days because like i said p days is long it is boring you don't do nothing you're in your sweats all day um, until you get your boots and then you're in your sweats and your boots and you're not doing anything but stenciling and learning about what you're finna do for the next eight six to eight weeks of your life and that's that so i'm gonna go ahead and end this video again you guys like comment subscribe thank you to all the people who have subscribed thank you if you have turned your notifications on to know when i upload another video if you guys or anybody else have any other questions about navy boot camp like i said i am here so you guys can leave a comment if you have any video ideas if you want me to make a video about something in particular just let me know and if i can think of something or if i can remember something then i'll make a full video on it and that is that so I'll see you guys in the next video